is depression lies and you know show yourself some compassion so i've kind of lived by those mm -hmm. but in terms of taking steps i haven't found something that i've bought into therapy for me to to get back and show myself that compassion i call it accountability mm -hmm. for me it was I messed up or somebody else messed up and it was all right well what could i have done better mm -hmm. and had a therapist say you need to show yourself some compassion i still have to remind myself to that this day do you overly critique yourself very much so no one will ever be harder on me than me can you give me an example of that yeah i can give you multiple examples of that um you know when it when it comes to work mm -hmm. you know I, I work in a field and i work for a company that i was told i'd never be able to work for i didn't have the pedigree these are all ivy league kids mm -hmm. and i was told by multiple recruiters i'd never be able to work for them and then all of a sudden i was able to do it and it boosted my confidence big time yeah but i always felt inadequate in everything that i did i've never been someone who excelled at a certain thing like i can do things well but i've always wanted to find that thing that where i feel like i fit in and, and i'm home when i do that you know i've kind of thought about things on a very macro level three things that are important to me in life relationships you know friends family partners yeah. etc um what's going on with work and then your living situation mm -hmm. so many more nuances to that but just generally i've always felt if i'm hitting on two if i can hit on three of those i'm feeling really good yeah and then during those time periods i wasn't hitting on any of them i had so many people that could have wrote me off and not one wrote me off every single person checked in on me do you think that there's a strong correlation between someone's character and what they feel they provide to the relationships around them? Yes. Yes. And I think that makes it even harder when I try and provide that right character mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm falling short. I'm always feeling like I'm not good enough, like I could do more. Currently now. Even now. Yeah. Even now. Do you ever, I'm not going to ask about your therapy sessions. I feel like that's private. No, you. Pl please. Okay. You're fine. Um, has your therapist ever given you advice on how to change your approach of things that are going on around you and how that may impact bettering the relationships? Because I think what you may be dealing with is as someone that does construction work, you know, when you hit a nail, you need a certain amount of feedback. And for you, you may be lacking in the feedback department of, is this really making a difference the way that I'd like it That's to? Right. Like, they look happy, but if I leave, is that smile going to be a little bit less? Yes, absolutely. I, I very much feel that way. Um, you know, and, and I've gotten feedback from therapists from that standpoint and I'm not good at taking it you okay. know if there's exercises mm -hmm. that I'm supposed to be doing I kind of sit there and I'm like oh this is bullshit like yeah and it just hasn't none of them have clicked with me that you know it's like the, there's a, a, a couple phrases that have stuck with me which is depression lies mm -hmm. and you know show yourself some compassion so I've kind of lived by those mm -hmm. But in terms of taking steps, I haven't found something that I've bought into, that I, I literally go, okay, this makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because I, I feel like I suffer from inertia. It's not laziness, it's inertia. It's like I'm stuck on this rock mm -hmm. and I don't know how to take that step off that rock yeah. to get, and you know, it's the, it's the whole journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, but I'm so paralyzed by 
all right, if I start doing this and this doesn't work, then I got to go back to square one. So I need to make sure I do this right. So I researched the hell out of things. Mm -hmm. And I just haven't found a way that has spoken to me, that excites me, that gets me where I need to be. Have you ever learned to fail? I failed a lot. And I don't think everyone learns from each failure. Like, you know, how there's people who's like, right. well, well, from this failure, I learned blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, there's, there's a limit to that. And the reason I say there's a limit to that is like, if you fail for something and you've learned from that failure, that means when you start to repeat similar steps in a different process or a different part of your life or a different relationship, you should be able to recognize when you're going down those steps again and you that's the point that all right we need to try a different version of whatever this thing is so i don't make that same mistake